Hi, and welcome to The Incredible Life of Cat. I am going to go through some more empties. So this is going to be part of part two, and I will be doing the rest of it at the end of the month. But it's garbage day, so I want to get some of this stuff out. Peanut is roaming, so just in case he walks by, you know about that. Um, he got a cut on his little third eyelid. Uh, the people that know about cats, when they close their eyes, there's like a film type eyelid that goes over them and he got a cut uh he is on antibiotics but otherwise he's fine but yeah uh so if he looks kind of funny that's why i don't know how i got the cut but he does sleep with his eyes partially open so that little film is showing when he sleeps and that is how he got a cut but on to the business um I'll be explaining a few things. I've decided to start buying some things in bulk or coupon for them, not just to save money, but because I'm tired of going to the store when I think I have something and I run out. Um, I do have a crate flushable wipes. I ordered a whole bunch of wipes and baby wipes. So those should be coming soon. And I'm gonna do like a little haul video for it. And this is gonna be like a once every six months to a year type of haul. That way I am, good to go oh i have an alarm going off or like you know we we also got a costco membership so i'm enjoying that so that's another reason why i want to get stuff in bulk we went through another cascade platinum if i buy these in bulk i won't have as many empties but at the same time when i run out i don't have to worry about running to walmart since we're trying to avoid them i did have to run to walmart again and i'll show you that in a in a haul video <laughs> Um, so I went through and finished these Equate Overnight Ultra Thin Pads. Um, I've been buying the small things of pads and the small things of tampons, but I also just put in, I put in a big order at Walmart, which I picked up yesterday, which I'll tape today. And then I have a super large Target order coming for tampons and pads and a couple of things. And then I'm going to buy some at Costco. So I will be all ready to go, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, I finished... A tampon pearl 34 pack the super plus I wear at night the super and regular usually during the day and I like these tampons they work good for me they're you know pretty good I also finished a thing of regular equate tampons these are also very good they are just like the pearl ones so if you like pearl tampons and you're a Walmart shopper and you need something on the cheaper side try these and see if you like them uh, let's see what else did I go through we finished a Dove Shea Butter, which is another thing I'm going to, I'm gonna buy the Sensitive Dove because that I know I like. So I'm probably gonna buy that at Costco. And then we have the Cool Fresh Aloe Dr. Squatch, which is my husband's. Sita finished Cotton Candy Body Fantasies. There's a little bit left in the bottom, so I might finish it, but that she really liked. She's spraying it everywhere. And I also finished a 20 pack of these little liners for always. So my period is more regular for those of you that knew that I was having lady problems. It is more regular, but it's still kind of heavy. So that's why I go through so much stuff. I, I would try that Diva Cup thing I was reading about this morning, but I'm afraid that I would forget about it or get an infection or have something happen. I know that's rare, but if that's going to happen to somebody, it usually happens to me. So rather than put myself at risk, I'll just stick to what I'm using. I finished an Elsa Lip Smackers. I don't know why it's not. Focusing. There we go. And the flavor was Winter Berry Frost. This one was pretty good. And I finished this one. These ones go by really, really fast. The Lip Smackers brand. <clears throat> And I finished a Dawn Power Wash, which is another thing that I want to. I have a whole new setup, so I'm, I might keep the top on this or I might not. But I have a whole, I'm going to buy that in bulk too. Another thing I'm going to buy in bulk, which I have coming from Target, Gain Fabric Softener and another Gain Original. Um, I What I do is, I don't have a particular day of the week that I do laundry. I just do it when I have a full basket. Sometimes I wait until it's an overflowing basket, but most of the time when I have a full basket, 
Um, at our other house, we'd had a washer and dryer for many years and then they both quit. And my sister has this thing about she will do loads that are way too small and put a lot of wear and tear on them. So rather than, you know, after, after they died, I mean, they completely died after me. And it was a long time, but they still died. So that's when I decided I'm not going to buy another washer and dryer. When I found out we were moving, we were contemplating a washer and dryer and a new stove because our stove quit at our old house too. But then we found out we were moving, so we waited. And um, I regularly clean and maintenance the one I have. I also went through a uh, Crest Premium. And I also, when I got my membership, I bought a five pack of these at Costco because it is my favorite. And I went through a love cotton candy and shan cotton candy champagne uh, body cream, which that one was on its last leg. And I finished a goat milk lotion. It's body lotion, but I had this by the kitchen sink and was using it for my hands. I finished a peppermint sugar cookie candle. I really love this candle and I'm hoping I did not see it at SAS at any of the stores I went to. I didn't see it online. So hoping it comes back. I finished an iced lemon pound cake, which this is another favorite candle of mine. <clears throat> and this is one that I've had for about two years and I finally finished it. It's sweet potato marshmallow. This is a really good one for like fall, winter, or if you like sweet potato pie, that kind of thing. Um, I did finish that one up. That one was really good. This is another Goose Creek one. This is cookie crumbles. It started off being like absolutely amazing. But towards the end, it wasn't soap, but it just smelled like that generic vanilla that, that, that they use a lot of. So I'm probably not going to be buying more from Goose Creek. I still have more Goose Creek candles to finish, but I'm not going to be buying any more candles from them. Except for particular ones. Like I know that there is a peach one that I really like that I might buy again. But other than that, I don't plan on making any orders. I don't need to. I finished a lavender marshmallow gentle foaming hand soap. I finished this one called Acadia from Scent Theory. This is the Walmart brand. Um, they had these for like a dollar last summer in the clearance section. So I always check in there for soaps or anything I can use. They are a good dupe for Bath and Body Works. And I finished in Method Sea Minerals. I got this last year at Dollar Tree. Um, it worked really well. I liked it. It was a fresh scent, but I probably won't pick those up again because I have enough soap already. And I have about about another week or so in June so you know it's gonna be it's a little over a week so there's gonna be more empties added to this video but that is everything for now because today is um trash day and I wanted to try to get some of the stuff out so I wouldn't have to worry about it so I will be talking to you guys again soon bye hi and welcome to the incredible life of cat I have the rest of my empties video it is the 26th, so I'm just going to end June here. Um, first, I have some stuff for my sisters. We have a 42 count Tide, and we don't use Tide because my husband has allergies to it. I've tried the, the um, hypoallergenic kind, you know, the kind for allergies, and that doesn't work for him either. So, we just don't use it. Uh, they also had a melatonin, which Lisa takes on a regular basis. I'm not sure which sisters this was, but it's age resisting classic cleaner. So I'm assuming it's probably Lisa. This must have been Michelle. This is Olay Ultra Moisture Shea Butter. They didn't really give opinions on anything. We also have a Scentsy Bar, which is caramel or caramel sugar cone. My sister Michelle definitely had that one. And she also finished a warm cinnamon buns which is probably from Walmart. These have finished another daily facial towelettes. And I'm not sure which one used this, but someone went through some conditioner. They went through a Dawn Platinum. They went through a Satin Care, which is shaving cream. My sisters are hairier than me, so I don't go through that much shaving cream because I just, I don't shave that much. I don't need to. And they also went through a coconut shave gel. So that's it for their stuff. So um, I went through a mini erasers 
eraser daddy thing. I use those in the bathroom. Usually I use the full size one, but I had a bunch of mini ones, so I wanted to use them. And here's another one. I finished a Coconut Kiss Suave deodorant, which that works fine. The spray for Suave just doesn't work for me. And my husband finished a regular speed stick. And I finished a Tarte Tardiest Mascara. This one I used quite a few times. I found it in my drawer, so I figured I might as well share that with you guys. And I went through one of the Signature Select. This is the Safeway brand uh, Flushable Wipes. And I finished a, what size is this? It's a 16 pack of Gain Flames. I finally used this. This is the Snuggle Renews It. Um, I have more refills coming. I have two Renews It's around the house. One in the spare bedroom, which actually isn't plugged in, in there. And one in the hallway. I had a Bath and Body Works one, but the dog kept running into it and knocking oil everywhere. So I found the Renews It's stay in the wall a little better. So I started using that instead. I finished the Lysol Hygienic Automatic Toilet Cleaners, which I actually realized I forgot to pick up yesterday. And I finished a four pack of the Coconut Delight Razors from Skintimate. And these ones work just fine for me. Let's see. And this one isn't as sticky and that's because I was rinsing the cap a little more. This is Antiseptic Mouth Rinse from Winco. Um, this one's good. It's just as good as the Walmart one that I usually get. But the one I have now is like a different flavor from Walmart. So I'm not sure about it yet. I finished a Maine's Best Blueberry Cotton um, candle. I finished a No Llama Drama handbag. Let's see. And I also finished a Fiji Flower, which is a Scentsy bar, and I finished a Rainbow and Butterflies Scentsy bar. Um, I've been like on a bender for clean scents, so I have a bunch of Scentsy stuff coming. Um, I might do a unboxing of that if you guys are interested i am a sensi rep i'm not trying to sell it to everybody i just keep doing it for myself because i like it so there you go on that one if you are interested let me know and i'll link my website down below but it's not really a big deal i went through a vanilla confetti sparkle shower gel and i went through a vanilla confetti sparkle body cream i'm almost done with the pumpkin cupcakes so it's like almost four of them for this month of the creams, so I'm pretty proud of myself on that. And I also went through a pink petal tea cake foaming hand soap and a happy Easter foaming hand soap. So I'm almost done with a couple of those products too, but I wanted to do this before the end of the month so I could post it probably like Monday or Tuesday. And that is everything for my empties for the second half of June. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.